So we've got a car traveling at 27 meters per second, south 25 degrees west. It's going to speed up around a corner. Uh, it's going to end up traveling at a different, different velocity, I guess, and it takes seven, seven seconds. We're going to look for its average acceleration. First step, as soon as we're in acceleration in, in two dimensions, whenever we're looking in two dimensions, this is a lot like a projectile motion question. Um, or, and kind of like just uh, doing something by component method, adding vectors by component method. We're not going to add the vectors here, but uh, we're going to start off looking at each of the vectors and break them into their components. So to start off with, uh, let's say we've got uh, the first vector is coming down this way. Uh, if, it was, if this is a straight south line, this is 25 degrees and uh, 27 meters per second. That's a 25 degrees in there. If this is the first vector, um, then we're going to break it into its components. We're going to have a y component there and an x component here. So this would be uh, v1y, v1x. And to solve for those things, um, we can just find those. We can say v1x. You can do y or x first. It doesn't matter. V1x is going to be uh, 27 times the sine of 25 degrees, uh, and that is 11.4 uh, meters per second. And the direction of that vector, just as a reminder, um, this vector here, the x component, or the x uh, vector, uh, is pointing to the west. The y component, similarly, uh, is just going to be 27 times the cosine of 25 degrees. Uh, and that works out to, let's see, 24.47 meters per second. And just like we were talking about before, that guy's um, pointing south. So there's the components for the first one. Uh, and I'll switch colors here just for, so you can see the second one. The second one, exact same idea. Um, it mentions up here that it's going uh, west 10 degrees south. So here's a straight west line. Uh, here's my vector. There is 10 degrees and uh, 31 meters per second. In that case, I've got V2 in the x direction. And over here, uh, V2, Y. That's getting tough to see over there, but that's a Y. Uh, to solve for those then, let's see, V2X uh, is going to be 31 times the cosine of 10 degrees, and that is uh, 30.53, that's meters per second, and again that vector is uh, pointing south. And uh, for V2Y, oh, wait a sec, that vector is not pointing south. Uh, let's see. All right, so now that we've got our components, uh, this is going to look um, kind of like a projectile motion question. We're just going to look in the X direction. Um, and, uh, and the y direction separately, uh, and then put our stuff together. So in the x direction, uh, ultimately what we're trying to find is acceleration. We have found uh, v1x and v1y, sorry, v1x and v2x, uh, and time, uh, which means we can solve for acceleration. We know acceleration is just v2 minus v1 over time, and that's true uh, if it's something is going in a straight line, it's also true if something is, is accelerating in two dimensions and we're just considering the x direction. If you wanted, you could kind of remind yourself that this is all happening just in the x direction. So to find out what ax is, we're just going to take our, our x and y components. So let's see, I've got them here somewhere. Oh, yeah. uh, V2x was 30.53. And uh, if you've watched my videos before, you know I seem to forget this all the time, but we should do this. Uh, we should declare some positive and negative directions. Uh, so let's say 
Uh, let's go with, uh, since everything seems to be south and west, let's say south is positive and west is positive. Okay, so we'll keep that in mind as we go through this. Uh, so all my vectors uh, in the x direction are west. Uh, so both of them go in as positive numbers. Uh, so 30.53 minus 11.4 divided by, it was 7 seconds. And just a reminder, this minus sign that's right here, that is not part of the vector. Okay, that minus sign is part of the formula. So in here, if you wanted to, uh, you could remind yourself that this vector went in as a positive because west, uh, let's see, west up here is the positive direction. If west is positive, this number goes in as positive, but the minus sign, again, is part of the formula. Uh, when we solve for that, then, our acceleration in the x direction, 2.733 meters per second squared, and that is in our positive direction, which is west, and uh, I'll put a little box around that thing so we can find it again, uh, but we're not done yet, just a reminder. That's only the acceleration in the x direction. And I'll come over here and we'll do the exact same thing in the y direction. We're going to solve for acceleration in the y direction. That is v2y minus v1y over time. And again, we're just subbing our numbers in. We said south was positive. Uh, both of our numbers are south. So they're going to go in as positive numbers. And again, that minus sign, part of the formula, not associated with the number. We find acceleration in the y direction is uh, negative 2.727 meters per second squared. And remember, every time our number gets spit out here, uh, it's in the positive direction, so the positive south direction over here. Uh, I don't like those negative answers, so I'm going to say it is this, but no, uh, north. So there's my acceleration in the y direction. And if that seems weird, uh, it's because we started off uh, here. We started off going south with a large velocity, and we actually slowed down. We continued to go south, but we ended up with a smaller, smaller speed, smaller velocity in the south direction. So we're actually slowing down while traveling south, which means we're actually accelerating north. Once we've got uh, our two accelerations, we can just redraw it. So same as we would do um, kind of with like projectile motion or something. If you found a velocity in the x and y directions, you can just put them together. Uh, we're just going to do the same thing here. We're going to redraw the triangle. So we're going um, west. This is acceleration. We're going west uh, and north. And uh, this is 2.73. Oops, 3 meters per second squared. That's an ugly 3, but that's a 3. And uh, up the side here, I'll see if I can squish in uh, 2.727 meters per second. Um, and the result is this thing right here. That's what I want, including this direction in here. So when I solve for that acceleration, it's just using Pythagoras, same as we've done before when adding vectors. Uh, it's going to be acceleration is uh, 2.733 squared. And that other number that you can hardly read over here uh, is uh, this one over here. Uh, 2.727, and that guy is also squared. And uh, we work that out, and we get 3.86 meters per second. Uh, we also need to find that angle. Uh, let's go down here, and I'll say tan theta is uh, 2.727 over 2.733. And if we work that out, uh, we get uh, it's 44 a little bit, 44.9 degrees, uh, we can say then our final answer, if we round it for significant digits, acceleration, uh, 3.9, maybe I'll say approximately, 3.9 meters per second squared, oh yeah, I forgot squared up here, and uh, this is uh, west, 45 degrees north, 
And there's the final, final answer. And I'll put uh, a couple of boxes around this thing just so we can make it stand out a bit. Who doesn't love to use a bit of color? And that's it. Uh, we found the acceleration in two dimensions um, instead of just one dimension by finding acceleration in the x direction, acceleration in the y direction on their own, uh, and then just putting them together, same as we've often done for other vectors. And that's acceleration in two dimensions.